Hello everybody and welcome back to my den in cattails. Yes, beautiful den. But you're gonna go outside. Oh, it's so bright outside. Hello, Maya, how are you doing? The forest colony is strong and it's been that way for a long time. We've lived beneath the trees for many generations. We have a great respect for the woods that we call home. I hope you'll share in that proud tradition in our proud tradition. Sorry. Okay, so today is a new day. It's a brand new day. We have our new skill. I should have checked where the contested areas were today. I have some lavender on me, so I could maybe go to the contested area and use the lavender to help see if I can win our, the combat. Oh, the mouse there. It going to wander a bit closer. Poof! Oh, he was already running by the time I hit the right trigger. One second earlier, I would have been fine. Oh, blackberries. Need to keep getting as many of these as I can. These may well keep me going through the winter. Okay, it's to the north. And let's have a look at the map. So it's the mystics that are contesting it. Really? Wow. That's rubbish. So the battle got won by them, pretty much, I think. I don't think I'm going to be able to help with that one. I'll try my best to help where I can. Rabbit's on the other side of the water. You would see me by the time I saw my cross. Ooh, loads of Valyrian to pick up. Yay! Yeah! Oh, I'm sprinting again now, apparently. Oh, good. Just what I need. There's a mouse floating down the water. Where's the bridge gone? Is it this one? Okay, kind of hoping for rabbits around here. Squirrel will do for, for practice, so... Climb up a tree! You suck, squirrel. I don't know if there's a certain time of day. Oh, there's something down there, apparently. I don't know what. It was pointing me in that direction. I'm just going to pop up here and get that. And I'll pop down across the bridge and see what it was pointing me to, if anything. Maybe another squirrel or something. Hmm. Oh, okay. Something. Black rabbit, okay. Try and get a bit closer. If you go off the screen, I will not be impressed. Get its little thing on. Are we 100% food? No. Oh, I didn't check. That's so annoying. I didn't check the food, and then there were loads of bushes in the way. That was so silly. Right, I'm going to go and, and speak to Molo. I'm going to go in the mines for a bit, because I'm a little bit fed up. I'm a little bit fed up. Maybe we can get some EXPs in the mine. Which food do we have? We've got plenty of blackberries.
Harvest Mouse. That'll do for a little tasty snack. A little snack it. Level one of the Canyon Mine. I need something to eat though. I'll eat that Harvest Mouse I just caught. Problem is, I won't be able to do too much down here because I don't have much inventory space. But I could get some Molon points. Oh, sorry, mo Molo points. Yep, downstairs. No descend every time. Every time I can descend, I will descend. That's how I get shiny gems, right? And if you're wondering why I'm, I'm calling it Molon, because we had this little kind of mole creature toy when I was a kid. And uh, its eyes fell off and it ended up with like earrings for eyes as well. It was very strange. It was like a little kind of mole with almost like a, a little beak. Kind of almost looked like a plague doctor, thinking back on it. Down we go. Canyon mine level three. They're not going to be able to do much more. I wonder when we actually start finding bats. Okay, that's a full inventory, so we'll go and see Molo and we'll... We'll change them for Molo coins. I am here to trade... Uh... Sell for mole cash. I can spend out the shop. Let's visit the mole cash shop. Mole cash shop. Do you have a black rabbit? If you do, I will buy it off you. Top hat and eye patch. Pet firefly. Nope. Okay, not interested, but I have I have the mole cash. It's useful. Need more to eat. Can mouse will do. Some berries. I should keep things like mice because berries do less per one. The harvest mouse we could try and capture. Mousing in the mines. Quite good at mousing in the mines, actually. Okay, so that will have given um, any black rabbits around here a chance to respawn. I'm not getting any arrows telling me of any prey around here. A squirrel. It's a skittish squirrel. Great. I'm trying to save my uh, my prey catching thing for when I see a black rabbit. If I see a black rabbit. Problem with this area is it's the only one where I really see them, but it's such a small area. And they run off the edge of the map so, so easily. I don't know whether it's just luck that I've found them around here. Okay, there's another one. Well, how's our food? First things first, let's eat. And sneak over to the rabbit. And we'll turn on that thing. Oh, I just hit the edge. Okay, is he coming back? Sneak across here. He might still be around. Oh, what a pain he's gone. 
definitely spawns here though. That was the best chance I was going to have in ages. And I, he just snuck into that circle. I'm still getting used to how that works. A little bit. But I'm a bit frustrated because if I'd have caught him then it would have been so good. Could have gone and done all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, there's another one. Okay. I'm going to eat some more. That's nearly back. Oh, is that the edge of the map? Yeah, of course it is. However, there's some more blackberries down here, so they're useful. The maps are too small! At least I have found one area where black rabbits seem to frequent. So I may as well hang around that area. Just hunt everything else around here. Keep myself fed. Seriously, get out of the water. I'm not a good enough swimmer to be pouncing on you in the water. Get out. That's right. I'll follow you. How skittish are these squirrels? Like, seriously. You know what, I'm just going to like run up to it and back it into a corner. Maybe I could do that with the rabbit. Any rabbits around here? They said there was something else down this way. I don't know if it was pointing at the mouse at the time. Hi Ferdinand, I'm glad that you're one of my forest cats. Hmm, I think I smell some catnip nearby. I hope my nose is right. I'm always finding catnip because I'm awesome. Way more awesome than you. I don't know if I managed to kill that fish there. I thought I would give it a go. And eat me a harvest mouse. Yum, 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 yum. Pretty determined. I'm gonna get this this black hair. Can you help me, Ferdinand? I really, really need a black hair. You seen any around? Like my entire quest depends on it. You wouldn't let me down on my on my quest, would you? And helping me with my quest. Mm. Move too fast. I'm too impatient sometimes. I need to like really creep up on them and take my time and then it's successful. If I don't do that then I am in trouble. To keep eating. That mouse was maybe a little too much. I think uh, it was saying about three mice a day so I imagine a mouse is maybe like 33%. My hunger. But things are spawning all the time out here, so it's all good. Squirrel as well. Bonus. If I 
can just sneak around any um hi fern how are you casper george that's an awful lot of us in here is this about to be contested Squirrel's way too... Oops. Way too skittish. Oh, come on. Stop going in there. You guys, did you eat my squirrel? Bet you did. Come on, black rabbit, just one, just one, just one that I can catch. That's all I need, just one, please. Pleading with the gaming gods here. Hey, Wiggles. Wiggles is swimming, and Haley is here. for backup they say there were enemies spotted not too long ago around this very spot okay all right for food <gasps> yes we did it yes right to the temple oh no running away I had lavender, I could have helped with that, but I don't want to die and lose my inventory or anything like that. So we're just gonna hand this black hair in and then we can definitely go and help with things. Right, where am I on the map? I need to go down a couple of squares and then we'll be at the temple. I am so happy that that patience paid off. So you guys just hang around in that area for ages and you will eventually manage it. If I can, anyone can. Because I can only assume that some of you guys that are watching this actually play the game as well. Run! They wouldn't dare, they wouldn't dare, uh, desecrate the sanctity of the temple. So we're going to go into Coco's burrow now, Coco's temple place. So finally, we have the black hair, a jet black bunny with no more hop in his step, hold, drop. Strange runes appear upon the pillar. You read them. You have done well, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the purple jewel in a place of healing and contemplation. Healing and contemplation. Journey to the hallowed garden to restore balance to this pillar. Hmm, the hallowed garden? I know right where that is. Just north of the sacred temple. I'll meet you there, Shelob. Okay, let's go. It's only taking me like six episodes to get this blooming black hair. Gee, I hope the rest of the pillars aren't as difficult. Okay, so just north to the hallowed garden. Wow, so many marigolds. I'm gonna pick them all up. Hey, Coco. Hmm, do you think the arcane pillar wants us to go down these stairs? Probably. Only one way to find out. Let's see if the purple gem really is here. Beneath the hallowed garden. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, let's go stand on the purple one. Oh, we've got things to read. Blue neighbor's green. Okay, so we've got instructions. And that will probably open this door with a gem. Right, okay. Alright, so we've got amulets that we can pick up and put down. Blue neighbor's green. Yellow to the right of red. Red neighbor's yellow and blue. Yellow to the right of red. So we put down red. Yellow needs to be to the right of red. So say we put red down there. So yellow needs to be to the right of it. Then blue will need to be on the other side. I don't know if these are in the right, quite the right place yet, but we'll read other ones. Green is left of yellow. Green is left of yellow, which would be over here then, so that we know that there has to be one space to the left of yellow. So then we'll try and put purple down here and see if it works. Purple has no neighbour to the right. So purple needs to be on the end. So let's just hold these. I'm going to basically put them where in the order that they should now, that I know they should now be. So purple's basically there. And I just need to move them all down one. Blue would go there. Red would go there. Yellow would go here. Green would go here. You can solve that with about two of the clues, I think. No, three of the clues. You needed the one with the yellow... Or maybe four of them. You needed to know which side the yellow went, and then the blue would go on the other side, and then green to the right of yellow, and then purple with nothing on the other end. So I think one of the clues weren't necessarily needed. Let me speak to Coco again. What a strange underground chamber. Did you notice the door at the back of the room? Maybe we can open it somehow. Well, I thought that those were correct. Maybe they're not quite placed well enough. Green left of yellow. Oh, green is to the left of yellow. I've got it to the right. I need to eat. Okay, so green to the left of yellow. So we've got that the wrong way around. Purple has no neighbour to the right. So purple has to be on the right end. Red neighbours yellow and blue. So red will neighbour in yellow and blue. Yellow is directly to the right of red, which we've got. It's the left of yellow. So the only thing that I can think that that means is it doesn't say that it's directly left. It says that green is left of yellow, not directly left. So I think green is right on the left. Hopefully this is right. 
would go here. And everything would shift up one. Let's see if we get this right now. There. Red will go in the middle. Blue would go next to the red one there. I know this would be easier with a full, with an empty... Whoa, whatever you're doing worked. The door on the back wall just opened. That's what I thought. Purple gem. I found a jewel. You should take this to the arcane pillar in the temple ruins. Yay! That was a good puzzle. I like that. I like the fact I could just, like, um, play around with them and put them down and stuff. Okay, back to the pillar. I like my puzzles. Well, we have the purple jewel. What would happen if we tried to put it in the arcane pillar? Go ahead, she lab. Yay! Incredible, the arcane pillar's powers have been restored. Hmm, it doesn't seem to have brought the forest guardian back, but at least it's progress. Yeah, we've got about 10 of them to do. Oh, look. Oh look, all the others have opened, so we can try all of them. What's happening? Do you see the other pillars? It's like they're all activating all of a sudden. This calls for more investigation. What do you say, Shelab? Maybe together we can figure out a way to bring back the Forest Guardian. Okay, so maybe this now gives me uh, an opportunity to make more collections. Different fish. Okay. Something I can work on. Once I swim better different bugs. Oh, I think I sold a bug. So we can go for the bugs. More fish. Dove, crow, blue jay and cardinal. I can definitely get some doves. Do I have some doves? No, just mice and stuff. Okay, so those are birds. And these are all the different kinds of berries. Now we can buy raspberries. I know that. But I can put some blackberries down already. So that's one there. A winter berry. So we'll be getting that soon. And the birds. And like so many fish. I'm going to have to start looking for fish all over the place. So fish, bugs. Scallop, sea bass, mackerel and conch. Trout, salmon, bass and catfish. Okay, so two fish, one bug. Some berries. And some birds. Can definitely get the dove and the crow. The blue jay and the cardinal? Not so easy. I wonder where they show up. But yeah, I need to get bugs, fish, birds. Just remember that. Probably got some licorice root at home that I can bring. But I'll wait until I've got the winterberry and the raspberries. That's... Ah, pretty cool. Ah, ah. Okay, uh, we're gonna go round. Way too many baddies to the other side. I'm so pleased that we got the hair though. Yay! I'm really hungry. Eat some of these things. Some, some to eat, some to save. Oh, there's catnip across there. I need, I need this. I gotta swim. Swim, 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 swim. How much XP have I got? Like 60, seriously? That's loads. So I could definitely get some more swimming EXP. 
We can swim a bit more. Yep. Some more fighting EXP. Get all these passive skills up. And foraging, we need to get that up soon as well. But uh, yeah, let's get all this stuff. Catnip and everything. I could probably swim this. Okay, so now I need to go and find some fish and conch shells and things like that and fireflies. Oh, there's a fish up there, look. Oh, not anymore, apparently. I need to hang out by the rivers and wait for fish to show up. Ooh, a coin. I have been fighting in this area. around this kind of whoa crazy cat after me phew i just want him to like hunt a few bugs and stuff gee jeepers creepers it always happens when i see a nice big fat juicy rabbit there's always other other cats after me Oh, a dove. Okay. A little closer, a little closer. Bounce! Oh. Okay, didn't fly too far away. Okay, now I've blown it. Should have used my prey circle thing, but I keep wanting to save that for bigger and better things, you know? Things that I absolutely have to catch. Oh, there he is. It's always better, I think, if I don't have to pounce across an angle. But never mind. We'll find more. That one was a tricky one. Also, I'm hungry. And we've already realised, I think, that when I'm hungry, I don't seem to do quite as well with my hunting, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm gonna starve! I'm gonna starve! I'm gonna actually starve! Got him. Yes. But yeah, we need to find all the bugs, like the fireflies and stuff. And we need to work out how to fish. I haven't even caught, like, one single fish yet. So let's follow the river along. See if we see any. I wonder if there's any, like, nice ponds where maybe the fish would... Okay, maybe actually in the forest area. There's like a little lake there. Maybe fish would show up around that area. I love that I have my little turtle. Today is the autumn festival. I should head to the sacred temple and join in the fun. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't do that until 11 because, like, it's not until 11 that things really hot up anyway, is it? We'll get refused access. Okay, so we need to go north a couple of tiles. And apparently, the oh, there's a bug there. Can we catch it? Blew off the map too quickly. There's a wee lake here. So I can get in for a certain amount of time and then I'm gonna struggle. If 
fairy wood. So I need to go across one and up one. There's a, a pond there, but it's not really got any fish in it at the moment. But yeah, if I want fish, I need to upgrade my foraging and my hunting and everything like that. Also, the active skills. I need to really be looking at those. Wild Slash. Devastate, devastate your foe with a slash that packs a punch, for example. Summon allies. Two colony cats to aid me in battle. Use this in a contested region to gain lots of power from my colony. Which would be really useful. Just go around all the different regions. Totally diplomacying them. Don't know how often that can be done. Cool down. 240 seconds. A mortal wound. Finish off a blow in a single a foe in a single blow. Heal my allies. Deep cuts, lions roar, make them flee. All really useful skills. All of them. Well, here's a nice big lake. So do we reckon we've got fish in here? Is it too big maybe? Got me a damselfly. I don't think it's a damselfly I need though. Oh well, we need to start collecting all the insects we see. And all the fishes. There are a couple of fish in here. I might struggle to catch them though. They're not close enough to the shoreline. Which sucks. Come, come closer little fishy. Come back. See how far lavender's going out swimming. We need to go that far. No, we didn't catch a fish there. It ran away. Need to work out this fishing malarkey. Oh, a frog. Do I maybe have to sneak into the water? Is that maybe what it is? It's another damselfly. I don't really know what kind of flies and stuff it needs for the temple. The flower plains. But I can give stuff away as gifts. I don't know if they can be eaten. Wings are nearly see through. Like a mouse, I would have hold or eat. That is just a collectible, I think. I don't have enough room in my inventory. I'm running out of room in my inventory, actually. To be fair, I'm not here. I'm not here. When I'm a tree. Silly squirrel. Actually, fairly sensible squirrel. If there were fish in there, that would be a really good place to fish. But there are not. So anyway, I'm going to go and save up uh, in my den. And then tomorrow, well, in next tomorrow's episode, we shall uh, go to the festival. Where am I? I'm, I'm always going the wrong direction. That's another damselfly. I can't remember what kind of flies it was that they needed. I'm just going to collect loads of different bugs and take them there. And then I'm going to collect loads of different berries and take them there. And then I'm going to work out how to fish. I can definitely take some of my birds along. I've got some... Oh, that's Maya's house. What am I doing? I'm trying to go to my house. Well, those are those flies now. I might be able to sell them, actually. Yeah, I think I can sell them. So look at all this stuff we've got. Loads of different stuff. 
which all needs putting away. So I'll do that off camera. So we'll we'll save here. Have a little sleep. I love that curling up the animation. It's so cute. And that's going to be the end for today. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more cattails, then please subscribe to the channel. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.